Okay, so we're in After Effects and we are going to teach ourselves how to do a lens flare in After Effects. The first thing we need to do is we need to understand that when we do effects, they have to be joined with a layer. They can't just be by themselves. So the first question is, is how do we create a layer? We can just go ahead and right click over here in the composition window and select new. And then you see that there are all these different types of layers that we can choose. For this, we're going to choose to do an adjustment layer. An adjustment layer is essentially the size of the active screen. In this case, it's a 1080p screen, so that's how big the um, adjustment layer is. And it's transparent, which allows us to put effects on top of or beneath the other effects. So you'll notice that I can just drag it here to put underneath or leave it on top, which is where we want this because it's going to be a lighting effect that sits on top. And then this is the part where it gets hard because you have to know that these effects exist. You can come over to the effects and presets panel on the right hand side here and you can click on the search bar and type in lens and the first thing that comes up is lens flare. Now it's as simple as dragging and dropping so you can click and hold drag it over to your adjustment layer and place it on top of there. Now you'll notice our lens flare appears right there in the middle. There are a couple ways you can adjust the positioning of this. The same way that you can in a uh, video editing, you can go backwards and forwards like you can in Premiere. Or we can use the target position to get pinpoint accuracy. So if you wanted to put it on top of the eye, you just click there and it moves there. So as you can see, that's just what it is. Now, if we wanted to add some motion to it, we're going to use keyframes like we did in uh, Premiere. And we do that by clicking on the clock. And we can choose these four effects that are used to control the lens flare. So the one that we're going to choose is flare brightness. Because this decides how bright it is on top of the other elements. So we, for starters, we're going to bring it down to zero so that it doesn't start off as bright. Now let's say this is a two second effect. So we're going to go about to one second down here on the timeline and we'll bring the brightness up. So if you bring it up to 100, it's nice, but if you really want it to be bright and big, you can keep on expanding it more and more and more. So it's up to you how big you want it. How big do you want it? I like the way it was. That was at 178, so we'll bring it 177. Okay. And it's too bright? It's too bright. That's fine. We can bring down the brightness. Because it'll bright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right about there? A little bit more. Keep going. Yeah. That's pretty. Okay. That's pretty. So we established the first point, which is zero, the center point, which is the brightest it's going to get, and then we establish the dying point. So you can choose if you want it to still be there. So you can bring it down to like uh, 40. It's still there and bright. Or really my recommendation is to bring it down to zero. zero. So it has a start, a middle, and the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now to watch the effect, we'll come back over here and we'll click the space bar. Now that it's completely loaded, let's try that again. And it'll flare up like that. But it didn't go over the whole CBU part. Or because, maybe, maybe mm -hmm. what I'm looking for is for it to start on the CBU and go left to right. St oh, we can also do that. That's really let's go, easy. Let's go CBU all the way through to online and. Okay, so I'm going to start it. We're going to we're going to so to do that, we're going to bring it back to the beginning of the timeline. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to be dealing with flare center. Okay? okay. So right now we have the flare center as right here over the eye, and we're going to change it now to start over here. It, it can start over the steeple? It can and start. go all the way over? Yes, it can. Oh, you know what? Let's do that. So we'll start it at the steeple. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll bring it all the way to the end. And then we will do it again. This is our ending point. All right. Let's, sorry, I need to make sure it's lined up. Ooh, that's going to be hard to line up. Let's do it right there. Okay, now if we watch it, it's going to take a little bit to render here. Mm, 
Hoffmann. I didn't... I skipped my own step. <laughs> we first need to turn on the keyframes. I didn't turn on keyframes. Let's turn on keyframes. Put the position right here. And then we'll go to two seconds at the end of the effect. And we will move it over. right there um, and then we can Ooh, that's do it like that if you want that's pretty do that again Show me that again. okay it looks really good over that CBU on my part not so hot on the steeple what's the problem with that so it's too small so bigger. what we can do is we can um, adjust the time on it. So if we go, ah, let's go. So I don't want it. You know what we're going to do is we're going to change it so that it starts lighting up before it starts moving. Okay. So let's go ahead and I want that to stay there. So let's turn that off so that we reset the keyframes. We'll turn it back on again. Mm -hmm. And um, we want it to burst up first. So now it's bursting. And now I'm going to go ahead and start moving it at this point okay. instead of earlier. Okay. How big can that burst get? Um, I want it big. You want it big, big, like big, from right here? Like bigger than that dot right there. Well, okay, I mean, it, it, it will eventually get like this. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is that what you okay, want to yeah, see yeah, yeah. right yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then it's going to crop. Yeah. And then we can move it across. Yeah. So for that, let me pause. Okay, so one thing I haven't shown you is where to find where your keyframes actually are. If you come to your adjustment layer, you'll see there's a drop down right here. If you click on it, it shows you the effects. So you can go to effects. And you see lens flare, okay? And let's go ahead and drop that down so we can see what is doing what and when, and then here are your keyframes. Oh, heaven is singing. <laughs> yep. So what we want to do is we it want to... just like Premiere. Oh, okay. <laughs> we want to take this keyframe, which is our starting keyframe, and we want to move it right about in here when it gets bright, super, super bright, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll come down to the end here, We'll change that in just a minute. Okay. We'll um, go ahead and we'll uh, we'll move it over to the end like we did before. Interesting. You have to go way off screen for that. I mean, like your cursor does. It's just because it's. I mean, I can also just type in oh. two hundred uh, one thousand oh, nine hundred four, okay. but I'm just I'm dragging, dragging it. I'm dragging, dragging the value. It. Yeah. So um, then what we'll do is we will, so now if we were to play it, this is what it would look like. It'd go it bright, mm -hmm. move, move, and then it would fade out. But I don't like how fast it fades out. Uh -huh. So I'm going to come down to flare brightness. Well, let me ask you this. Yes, Can it also like go on a diagonal so it's hitting more here rather than hitting in the background? Sure. That's, that's no problem at all. Okay. So we'll come back over here to this keyframe. Okay, and we'll take the position and we'll just move it, like, you, you want, like, right here? Uh, maybe up at the bottom of the E. Yeah, about right there. Yeah, right here. That's good. That's okay. Good. Uh -huh. So now. Yeah! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And yes. then what we'll do is, yeah. we've already set the brightness. Um, let's see. So this is, that's the bright point. Uh -huh. Okay. I want it, so that's the growth. We want it to grow and then okay. zoom. Ooh. Oh, so, that's beautiful. Right across the letters. What that's I'll do gorgeous. is I'm going to adjust it back up to one, that is six, seven. Yeah. That's too slow. I love it. Okay. We might need to play with that a little bit. But the idea is this, is it goes first and then dies. Yes. Yes, I love it. I love it. And now that's over a two-second period. That might be too long. We can make it a one-second period. 
Two seconds, two seconds. Well, okay. You can enjoy me thick, right? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> it takes a full second to burst. And then That's move. That's beautiful. You sure? Yeah. It just seems a little sluggish. Like, he, I, I, when it starts moving, that movement seems sluggish to me. So, grow sluggish. Are you, if you're happy. I like it, okay. yeah. Anyway, so that's how we do a Until lens flare I really effect. I really get what you mean in the whole thing, but, you know, but, you know, for now, I like that. Yeah. Okay. And who knows? Maybe after I learn it, then I can make the adjustments myself. And you can do that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, 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 I forgot about this effect. That's right. Oh, that's right. So we can make the Christian ministries. Well, I think what we can do is we can set it to blend in with what's beneath it so that it does it, it's not quite as harsh. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So it's not um, completely whiting out everything. It'll look more like light on top of it. See, you see more of the blue come through like this. Yeah. I like that little red stuff though. I thought that was kind of cute. The red stuff is fine. I just want to make sure that, so if I turn this back down to zero, mm -hmm. you notice that the letters actually change. Like you want it? I like it. If you're happy. I like it. Okay. I mean, but, but. We'll I go ahead and like save it. it. I do like it. Yeah. I do like that little color change up in there. And if we come into as Premiere. Long as it doesn't stay because it's not their color scheme, you know? Sure. Um, this guy's over top, right? This guy. It, it's a little choppy because it's running off a of ram. Right, but. right. And then the, and then we can make the Christian ministry fade in. Yes, that part. <laughs> yes, we can. Mm -hmm. So to make the Christian ministries fade in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we want Christian ministries to appear as the light scrolls across, we would find the point at which it meets with Christian ministries. So let's say right about there. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to apply an effect, and that effect is referred to as a wipe. So we can type in wipe, and we want it to be a linear wipe. So the reason why we're choosing a linear wipe is because it's a line that moves across the screen. So that's going to work a little bit better for our purposes. We're going to drag that effect over to the Christian Ministries layer. We'll put that on, and you'll notice Christian Ministries goes away. So we want to see, we want to have better control over that effect. So we're going to expand out those and effects. And keyframes, right? And we're going to add keyframes. Yeah. That's right. So you'll notice that it's added the effect to where we had um, the the timeline keyed up. So now as it goes across, it should actually... <sighs> oh, but gone. we want to speed that up a little bit because you'll notice the light is actually ahead of that. So we want to move it in until it matches to right about there, and then it should be good. Oh. Oh. I like it. I like it. Okay, I'm going to be able to do it, because I'm going to make tons of those until I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and now if we go back into Premiere, we should be able to watch it happen. Oh, wow. That's going to be good. Now, okay, so... So at some point, I've got to fade out those videos toward the end. i got to wash them out so that that stands out, right? You're right. So what I would do, if I were you, let's see, when, when does this effect end? Oh, okay. Um, so wait, when do they, so they do their switch here and then they're done? Is that what it is? After their first little... So that's the switch. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is, right as that switch is beginning to complete, mm -hmm. right about there, that's when I would bring this, and I would have this come in on a fade, is what I would do. I would have the whole thing come in, I would like have CBU online, mm -hmm. I would have this fade in, yeah. while the background fades out a little bit, and then I would have the effect start. Okay, how do I make the, how do I... Oh, I love it. That, that that's a great idea. Um, but trying to get the um, 
trying to get those four videos to look washed out. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do And we is... can wash them out on their second one. And I'm probably going to end up, I'm going to end up taking off the third one on each one of them. The third. Like these, the third little clip. That third one. Oh. Like, his is the only one that has two. But everybody else has three. So I'll end up taking that one out, that one out, and that one out. Got it. Okay. Do you want to still be recording right now? Because we're at 15 minutes. Oh, we can keep recording. Oh, okay. All right. Um, what we would do is we'd come over to effect controls. When we select the clip, and we would um, go to opacity. And we would take that opacity. I would make it um, a time-based one. Um, what I would do is come back to the beginning here to right about here. Because now that they've all switched positions, we'll go ahead and we will insert our keyframe. And then we want them to start fading pretty soon thereafter. We'll insert another one and bring that down. Okay, so that's, yeah. So we could bring that down. How faded do you want it? That's the question. Like this faded? Maybe a little higher. Yeah. Maybe like that. Okay. What's that number? That's 41. Okay. And then we can move that keyframe down a little bit. So, as the, so they finish moving, they're set, we have our effects start lighting up the logo, mm -hmm. and then they would fade out yes. Christian yes. Ministries. Yes, yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. So let's go ahead and duplicate these. But you're going to undo it so you can do it on the screencast, right? Well, we are on screencast right now. Oh. So we're doing it right now. All right. Um... And we'll come over now. Now, here's the hard part: is that um, um, this is all one clip, uh -huh. but these start. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 I know. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying yeah, but, but the intention, but... but the intention is definitely to chop off everybody's third one, and then whoever's got the lowest one, match them, line them up. So when they because all of the set... switching is still done by the first one. Well, except for um, except for Joe's, he crosses over. So this one is the one I would do it on here. So you can copy and paste keyframes, and it puts them right in there. Okay. Let's make sure that they go at the same rate. Yep, and they should copy at the same. Um, keyframe as well okay. if they can which is why this one's going to be hard and it's this one it needs to do it as well so if we go ahead and play it now from the beginning okay so i think they ought to dim like maybe a second and maybe that should show up a second after they all dim like the logo part i'm sorry one more time like if you play it play it again yeah stop so i'm thinking before that shows up mm -hmm. before this shows up they should start dimming i think they should start dimming then um so they finished moving. Mm -hmm. As soon as they finish this is, moving. This is here too soon, isn't it? It needs to be moved down some. We need to move this down some. Okay, then I, you know what? Then I think that would do it. Go back. Oh, yeah. We need to also expand the effect. Because it's... Oh, we don't have this dimming in. Mm -hmm. We don't have what dimming in? We don't have... This, the logo, because it just goes kind of bam. Oh, it needs to fade in. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, fade okay. in. That's okay. that's the word I'm looking for. Okay. So fade in, uh, video transitions. Not transitions. Is it transitions? It is. Dissolve. And I'm looking for a dip to black, dissolve, 
put that at the beginning. So, oh no, no, no! <laughs> I forgot because of that. It is cross dissolve. Cross dissolve. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. At that the beginning? So cool. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> yeah! I like that. And then like when that. you're done, like right around, oh, ha, <laughs> they're already popping back in. <laughs> oh, um, it starts over. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Because it's the, it's the end of those, of those uh, second clips for those guys. So maybe like once, so we have... I like that. We'll let it sit. And then right before this, we have everything dipped to black. Just, and we can, we can, I can drop it down a little bit because up against his shirt, you don't see that so well. Up against? Up against his plaid shirt. Yeah. Online is kind of like. It's oh, sure. So you're so talking we could about probably taking. probably drop it down a little bit. Mm hmm. Um, selecting this clip. We can go to motion position and we will drop it down. That's why I would honestly use the CV white logo there. But then you have that same problem. Or we can fade it more. <laughs> Oh, we could just fade them all out to black. That's kind of what I what I was that intending was originally, but okay, let's try that. I okay, just like seeing them moving in the background. Well, we can make it a slow fade. Okay. Okay. Um. So we'll come down to yours first. So we're so it starts popping in right about here. When's it complete? It is complete. Let's say we want it to start. We want them to be done here. Oh, come on, give me the keyframe. There, and we will change that down to zero, and we'll do the same. And you know that really actually makes perfectly good sense because when it goes to black like that, then it'll be in a perfect position to fade into the next, to mm -hmm. their actual video. You're absolutely right. That does make sense. This one, same thing. And then this one. Okay, so now from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You are just making me love my job. I am so glad to hear that. See, oh, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. Because then the other thing, I don't have to, I might have to play with it a little bit. Because I'm thinking we might have to go to the edges and just leave the, the cross section in the middle. Oh. But probably mm -hmm. no border. That's fine. We can do that too. Oh, for... Yeah, because see how the uh, E and the F, you know, they're like yeah. right there, and, and, and over here is like hanging over. Yeah. Or, or, or we bring it in. Mm -hmm. we, oh, can we can bring, bring the logo in. in. Actually, bringing it in is easier. Okay, so... Let's bring it in. I want to go for it. We have our composition. I'm excited. I hear you. <laughs> Let's bring our scale down. Yep. That's good. Right about there. Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep, yep. So now... That looks really nice. I'm excited for you. This is good stuff. <gasps> that is so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so nice. That's so nice. Thank you. You're uh, so welcome. Uh, Let me go ahead and turn off the recording.